Hey, everyone. Welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay, guys. Well, we're back to talk about Brandy Glanville because I don't know if you guys saw she shared photos of her face. She's been talking about how the stress of everything that she has going on with Caroline Manzo and the lawsuit and everything with Bravo, this investigation, how it's really affected her. And a lot of people are like, okay, well, you're just annoyed because you don't have a job. And other people have said other things. And really, nobody knows what Brandy is feeling except for Brandy. But she said that it's been morphing and changing her face. Um, you guys? Her face has definitely changed. So I'm going to give you... Um, I'm going to give you like a trigger warning on this. Not in even saying anything bad about her. I just like, I feel so fucking bad. I feel so bad. Okay, let's get into it. Thank you to Brandy for sharing. Brandy Glanville shared a video of herself on Instagram. This was on Thursday and was quickly called out by fans who felt that she was looking very different than she had in the past. After the 52-year-old housewife of Beverly Hills alum spoke of her health issues and announced her return to Cameo, Brandy was accused of having too much filler and Botox, as one fan suggested that her health struggles were a side effect of her plastic surgeries. It's been over a year since I've been dealing with my health issues and haven't been able to keep up with the videos, but I'm back on Cameo, is what she wrote. Okay. In Brandy's accompanying clip, she was heard speaking to a fan in a video that they purchased on her Cameo page. Let me show you the video really quick, just so you guys get an idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here it is. Merry Christmas, Christy. <laughs> I don't know what to do for Christmases. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Christy. Merry Christmas, Christy. <laughs> I don't know. What hmm. Well, she looks the same here, but I don't think that this is really the problem that people are talking about. Let's keep going. Following the sharing of the post, though, Brandy, who was recently dropped by her attorneys in her planned lawsuit against Sandy Cohen and Bravo, was called out by fans who didn't recognize her. She can hardly move her mouth. It's got that much filler in it. This is so sad, is what one person wrote. Maybe if you laid off all of your plastic surgery and bonded teeth, your health wouldn't be affected. A third told her that she looks like she overdosed on the Botox. Morris said, didn't recognize her. She looks like an old woman, can hardly move her mouth. It's got that much filler in it. Maybe if you laid off the plastic surgery. Uh. Earlier this year, Brandy opened up to Entertainment Tonight about the health crisis that she faced amid Caroline Manzo's sexual assault allegations against her saying that she'd experienced facial swelling and had gone into an anaphylactic shock. I've had some health issues that have affected my ability to talk. But she's had that, her ability to talk changed a long time ago on the show. So I don't know if that changed a long, long time ago. Like we, we noticed that she was talking different on the show. My ability to taste food, my face basically would swell up. Like I would have anaphylactic shock go into anaphylactic shock constantly and I saw seven doctors and their answer to it was it was stressed induced angioedema. I didn't do my podcast for several months because I would just have to stop and take breaks and it's insane. I took my health for granted. Mm. Okay. Well, the other video here. Thank you to buy wig. Hello drama. She said, sick it. Um, wow. By way, Hello Drama said, Brandy just posted this. And although Brandy didn't mention it when she posted this pic, she was diagnosed with the stress-induced angioedema last year. It's a condition that caused her face to swell. Angioedema is swelling in the deep layers of the skin and other tissues, according to the Mayo Clinic. Similar to hives, it often shows up around the face and lips and may be accompanied by an itchy, raised rash. Although, oh, God. It's really sad. And also, Brandy said, guys, this is an old cameo. I used it to promote that I'm back on after a year plus hiatus. Let me share what I look like and why I had to take a pause. Check next post and fucking suck it, haters.
No, guys, that is so fucking sad. That makes me feel really bad for her. I can't even imagine that. Okay. Um. All right. Well. Let's get into this. Man, that just turned me off. Season 18 of The Real Housewives of Orange County has been over for a few weeks now. However, there is still fallout from the season. And this is especially the case when it comes to Jennifer Pedranti and Ryan Boyajian. This is due to quite a few of her cast members, namely Emily Simpson and Tamara Judge, spreading gossip about him. Now the OC star is revealing where she stands with the ladies today after some distance from the situation. And as fans will recall, there was quite a bit of talking about Ryan being investigated by the FBI. But this situation arose during filming and it became a plot point, particularly towards the end of the season. Now, of course, Ryan said he had committed no wrongdoing. But according to Bravo, Jennifer recently appeared on the Chanel in the City podcast, and they discussed quite a bit. But one of the biggest takeaways came when she opened up about where she stands with her OC cast members after their decision to gossip about Ryan and his legal affairs. Regarding Tamara, Jennifer said, my friendship with Tamara, I think, was more important for me. I think I placed more value on my friendship with Tamara than she did. And so I got to a good spot with being okay with that, you know. This is who she is within our friendship. I learned what I'm comfortable with with her and what I'm not. So uh, she then said that their issues especially showed up after Ryan's situation, according to her. And then being part of my friend is either you don't have to love Ryan, but you don't have to keep bashing my partner. I'm going to marry this man. And this is the home that me and my kids live in. She then said that she has no clue where her friendship with Tamara will go following their issues. I don't know what happens. The wheels just fall off with her. It, it just never stays with her. But Jennifer also discussed where she stands with Gina Kirschenheider. As fans will recall, they had drama after Gina helped Jennifer find a home, but then got evicted. She said, Gina's awesome. I didn't see her side. When things started falling apart and living in that house, I was in a constant contact. I was in constant contact with the homeowner. So I was trying to alleviate Gina from my mess. And little did I know is that it was causing her more of a problem. And she went on to explain that what she likes about Gina is, you know, what I love about her after the big blow up, after all of the things, she'll sit down and go, I was too hard on you. And I should have never have said this. And I'll say, Gina, I didn't even see your perspective. I thought that you would have sympathy. I wasn't thinking about your real estate career. And she said she's a woman who will talk through it. And she's amazing. And Gina's so cool. Oh, we're getting to better places. Jennifer also revealed where she stands with Emily these days. And she said, with Emily, I still see a soul. I see pain. I see I'm not her mom. I had actually a very opposite upbringing than she had. And she wants to be mad at me because I have love and I, I have support and all of the things that she did not have. But that's not my fault. And I think if Emily gave me a shot, what amazing! What an amazing friend I would love to be to Emily. I feel like she just needs to heal. And instead of healing, she's just lashing. And that's not right. I feel like she's acknowledging that she has growing to do there. Yeah. Well, Jennifer also said that she looks up to Emily as a wife and as a mother. I think that Jennifer is going to be back. Emily is definitely going to be back. Alexis Polino, I don't think, will be back. And Gina Kirschenheider is always up in the air. But... We'll see. We'll see. Guys, pop off in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.